sauce is being avoided and didn't get to make an impact yeah. on Sunday, which, I mean, it's kind of like a blessing and a curse. You're too good. They're not going to throw to you. How frustrating is that for a young player? Because he seemed frustrated. Well, it really forces you to exercise patience, mm -hmm. right? And, like, I've been fortunate enough. I, I played with Revis. I played with Chris McAllister. I played with Samari Roll. I played with Ed Reed, guys who were able to lock down their position and be avoided. You know, um, so, you know, you just can't get bored, right? Because at some point they have to and you have to remind them why they're avoiding you. But it's difficult, right? Because, you know, you, you can't get lulled to sleep. And that's usually what happens. You kind of get bored over there. And what you have to do if you're opposing defense or your teammates, then they have to be able to utilize this is I mean, look I at these numbers. No, 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 no doubt. Like, this is rookie. He's doing his thing, right? And, and he stepped in and he's earned a nickname. He's really, you don't get to come in here and people actually call you a nickname when you come in and let you back it up. And he's backed it up and he's earned it and, de and deserving of all the accolades that he gets. I'm just surprised and I'm always frustrated that DJ Reed's not there because how much was he targeted and how many catches did he give up? Is that the biggest thing because Sauce is so good because he has a guy like DJ? Well, Do you know no. what I'm saying? Well, like, DJ, DJ has to be that good because if they're avoiding Sauce, that means that all the carry, that all the, the throws are going to him. It got to go to somebody. And if he's been able to you know, slow him down and stop him, then what does that mean? Like I said, I had Chris McAllister. Yep. Samari Rowe got it, but Samari Rowe was a pro bowler as well. Like Revis had Cromartie, right? So like, I How think, big of an impact, though, is he really making, even though he's not being involved? I mean, it's huge, right, because it allows you not to worry about a position in the side of the field, and if the Jets decided to use that extra player because they don't have to help him, then they can, you know, have that extra player either help in doubling somebody else or they can have that extra player add to the rush to help in the run because you don't have to worry about having a safety over the top. He essentially takes an entire man out. You're already essentially playing 10 on 11, 11 on 10. But then when you take him out, then now you're playing 10 on 9 and you just continue to take people off the field. And they have to do, figure out ways to kind of utilize when he is doing that to get him involved so he doesn't lull himself to sleep. But he stayed disciplined. He never gave up a big play. He never wavered. But it is a boring game.